But Zimbabwe's drought-prone southwest is facing food insecurity as livestock, the main source of livelihood in struggling to survive and traveling long distances in search of water. The United Nations World Food Program says it needs about $75 million to ensure food security for Zimbabwe, but so far it has received only about one-third of that amount. Columbus Mavunga reports from Bulawayo. Matopos, about 600 kilometers southwest of Harare, is part of Matebeleland region, where crops usually fail due to low rains. Thus, animals in this region are not only a sign of wealth, but a sign of livelihoods. They are sold or exchanged for grain, especially corn, which is used to prepare Zimbabwe's main staple of food, sadza or ischwala, a thick porridge which is served with a relish. Animal herders go upstream with their animals in search of water as the Mavigwe Reservoir has dried up. The donors keep saying they will come and fix the dam, but they are not coming. There is no one who can come to fix it. So when the water is finished here, we have to go further down there for the cattle to get something to drink. Some dig for water for their cattle along the stream, but as the dry season wears on, the shallow wells dry up, and it has not been rosy, says this 29-year-old man. This year's drought has been severe. Our cattle are dying because there is not enough water to drink. We travel long distances for cattle to survive. We are appealing to the government to intervene and solve our water problem. It must fix our dam so that we can survive. We have not seen the government. We are seeing you, and we hope you take the message to them. President Emerson Munangagwa's government officials in Mbulawayo, the nearest city, referred us to aid organizations that normally assist the villagers. The World Food Program says it needs about $75 million to ensure food stability during Zimbabwe's so-called lean season over the past six months. USAID's Food for Peace has chipped in with $22 million. The WFP says the current food insecurity is attributed to long dry spells in the 2017-2018 rainy season in some parts of Zimbabwe. We have an estimated 28% of the rural population that is considered in a very challenging situation when it comes to access to and availability of food for this particular agricultural season, the 2018-2019. If you translate the 28%, we are talking of about 2.4 million people who would go without food simply because either they cannot afford it or they are unable to produce for the household consumption. During this lean season, which runs through May 2019, the WFP says it is working to address the most urgent food insecurity needs. Columbus Mavunga for VOA News, Bulawayo, Zimbabwe.